one more uh, company is NPNG leader. Let's say oh, already one uh, company is deleted. There's another something like say uh, payment election change. What is this? Payment election chain. I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. It'll be confusion for you, but I'll tell you. Okay, uh, coming to your question. Uh, normally, um, let's say you you are having an account. Payment elections means basically for the your uh, um, like say your bank details, your bank details. Mm -hmm. Like you you have the bank, you have opened a bank in Chase Bank, and a bank account number is something that you will uh, give to the employee employer for uh, processing the payroll. So suddenly you change the bank, and okay. you want uh, that bank details has to be updated in your um, profile. So like that, so your account has to be changed, your bank name has to be changed. So those comes under payment election changes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like that. So now the coming to this point, so Sai one employee is, is our day consultant. He did some transactions on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on one employee, like he did location change at nine o'clock and company change at 9.25, gender change at 9.30 and payment election change at 9.35. Okay. So now if I am running, of the NPC equations, then we know why this pick of NPC, pick of NPC, we know that those are the payroll processing, third party payroll processing integrations templates. So they will, obviously they need to send this data, this change data of yeah. the employee to the third party for processing. Now, if I run the pick of if I have the, I run the pick of integration, whether this all four will go or any one will go or any two will go like that. If I run PG, whether all will go or one will go, two will like that. Okay. Whether this all transaction will go to the third party for processing, if I am running the pick of or if I run a PG, which will pick all transactions, which will pick only one transaction. That is the question. Okay. okay. Now, the point here, see. The top of the stock row that means what means this will pick only last highest transaction so top means so this is the top because the last transaction is nine therefore is the top one okay nine, nine o'clock is the lower one so if i run the pick off this will send only this transaction okay mm -hmm. so will it will it skip the changes of the other transactions no so it, it 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 will it will not send. It means data will be there. Data obviously there in the work day. But while you are sending data to the third party, it will send only this data. Others it will not send. It will send the old data only. Okay. It will not pick also. It will not pick this data. It will send only this data only. It will not pick the location change company. It will not pick what are the old data is already there with the uh, system that will, that's uh, with the third party that will be there. But only the top of the stack row, last transaction it will send. Okay. That is the meaning okay. of the stack row. So, obviously, see, um, some companies may not require the all data. Only combination data only they require. It depends on the type you have the third party. But the question is, if you are having the pick off integration running, then this will send the top of the stack row. It will not send the these details earlier run. Okay. Yeah. Then, but in Pichi, it'll send all. If you have the Pichi means, it'll send all transactions. Okay. Change transaction will end. This is a change. Right? Whenever you're changing, the data will pick up in Pichi. That is the meaning of this. So, it sends every transaction. Every event. Means every change every, event. What are the change you are doing? Irrespective of the time, irrespective of the time, it will send the data in the output file. This data will be in the output file. Normally, it will say in the output. So that is the meaning of this one. Okay. Then obviously, if you want to run for, say, for example, one employee 
uh, we are sending the data of these 100 employees or 1000 employees in our company for payroll processing. So among them, one or two employees are missing. In that case, Pickoff will not send the, will, will not have the option to run single employee. If you are running, you have to manually process it. If, you, if anything is missing in the uh, payroll, out of the 1000 or 2000 employees, what you send, if one or two employees mm -hmm. are missing, you need to do processing manually. Pickoff will not send. So in individual, it is not possible. But whereas in, in Pichi, it is possible. Individual also can send it. Ad hoc, yeah. in between also you can send it. So that's why this is all, like say, the pickoff, the meaning is that then it will send only top of, top of the stack row, but Pichi will send all transactions. We cannot manage ad hoc because in between, if we, generally pickoff will run by week, uh, by weekly or monthly it will run. Once it is over, over, then again it will not, it will not run the previous data. So, okay, okay. So it has to pick up the next integration only huh? yeah if if you want to run uh, for the missing employees you need to manually run it ad hoc run like manually you have to process the payment and yeah. it's in data separately. and uh, but whereas pitch it is possible you can run in between also and it got more attributes and more thing actually what happened say for example in a while uh, configuring the pickup integration already delivered template which had got some fields Okay. Like, uh, yeah, but like gender, is, is location, is organization, is pay, pay, payment, is payment elections, is compensation details, and uh, uh, employee type. Like so many fields should be there that I, that I'll be showing while configuring the the speaker for the generation. And for uh, what happens if some fields which already not there in the template, but uh, third party wants for processing. In that case, we call we go for the custom integration. You might be having with custom integration. Uh, can you come again, please? Uh, sorry, I missed over here. Not available. Just um, you know, what are the integrations we are we are preparing uh, delivered by our day? It will based on some template. They will deliver one template in the template attorney fields will be there, certain fields. So for example, yes. if, you are, if you are building the worker temp worker uh, core connector worker template, which is already delivered, it has got some fields. So if you see yes. the original worker um, worker fields, somewhere around seven thousand fields. But if you see the template, we got only thirty to forty fields are are uh, delivered in the template. But what yes. happens if the other the other data, if you want, means in that case, we have the option called custom integration. There you can go and choose the your required fields from the worker uh, VO. Okay. That okay. is custom integration. While building only, you can make it. But in case of pick off, this, what are the fields that are delivered? That only delivered. If you want any extra, it is not possible with the pick off. Okay. Because you cannot, you cannot have the option to create the custom integration. But whereas in case of the pitch, that we generally we call it as integration attributes. So in the integration field attributes, one option is there. In the field attributes, that option is not there in pickup, but it is available there. If you want, you can choose number of fields directly from the uh, going to your, your BO and select it. Okay. This flexibility is there in pitch, but in pickup it is not. Okay. That is actually we call it as field override service. This field override service is not available in pickup, but it is available in pickup. So basically, the field overhead service will pick the the fields which are not there in the regular delivered template. Okay. This yeah. option, but both are both are payroll integration only. Whether it's pickup or PPG, these both are third party payroll payroll delivered integrations from Workday. Depending upon your requirement, you can choose either pickup or PPG for your organization. Okay. Both yeah. configurations, how to configure, how to fix. That both I'll tell you. Okay. So initially we need to understand this field. So tomorrow they will ask, well, do you have any payroll integrations? Means you can say yes. Workday has delivered third party two types of integrations. That is basically pick up and PG. And if you want different, you can tell this difference because that, they will ask definitely. They will ask what do you, what is the difference? Because why I should go for pick up? Why I should go for PG? Because both are there. So initially they delivered pick up integration, but obviously you know you are getting a lot of dollars. Why I am unable to get the last time trans all transactions and I'm, I'm I'm unable to add certain extra fields so due to that they delivered the new template which this is the latest one so which has got the all features like that one. 
depending upon the customer requirement they will deliver the defect so as of now these two integrations these two integrations only for the payroll processing purpose only that is third party not in house okay any doubts now no i'm good okay you understand right what is the difference between these two the yes. okay. so they, that they will definitely ask okay. and one more thing also there full file this question you didn't ask me actually What do you mean by full file option? Can you can you guess what is full file? Mm -hmm. mm. uh, I'm thinking it's it will send uh, the entire uh, organization file every time uh, organization data on on, the, on every integration run. Yeah. Yeah, you, you are you are yeah okay you are near to that but uh, not that because our entire data. We cannot send to the third party because our data is most important. I mean, but yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, whatever the data is related to payroll, it sends all the employees' data on on each and every run. Not not only I mean, but not the specific changes, but the entire data. I mean, uh, whatever the uh, data required for payroll. Okay, it is nearly nearly correct, but I I let my last next thing. So you might have got doubt in your mind. Let's say I have my company is using pick off integration. Okay. Um, I know that it will send only the last transaction. What if yeah. if I want full if I want all debt all transactions? See, a question will definitely come into your mind. Say, but I did these four changes, but my 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 integration will send only the last uh, top of the stack row. But what if my third party wants all data? In that case, is there any option available in pick off to send this all transaction data? Irrespective of the stack row, yeah. Okay. So that is a full file option. So one, these are is the one attribute in the configuration, one checkbox actually. Okay, once you okay. select this check, only once you select this checkbox, full file option, then my integration will not check any transaction. It will check. It will send all full all data. What other data is changed? That will send it full full data. Okay. For the template. So. Your full data is correct only, but selected data, selected transactions, which is happened in in different different times, different different dates, that data will be sent to the third party, irrespective of the stack row. Because in pick up also start. That's a both the both the integrations we can have the option full file checkbox in the integration configuration where you can send the full data. Because this definitely will get it. Because what happens if I know I want the all transactions? My integration is sending only last transaction, last top of this transaction. What happened to other transactions? This doubt will definitely will get while configuring it. That's why one option is there in the configuration, configuring the template where checkbox is there, where you can select full file. Then once you select the full file, it will neglect all the conditions and send the full data, transact all the transactions to the downstream in the third party. That is the uh, meaning of the full file. In the both the cases, in Pichi or Pickup, this option is available. You can select it. Okay. Now, how to configure this uh, payroll integration, Pickup and Pichi, and what are the options are there? That will continue in the next class. So, till now, if you have any doubts, you can. Ask. I'll pause for questions at least for mm -hmm. one or two minutes. So you can you can ask me. I'll clarify. Yeah, yeah. C can you open that uh, table again? Uh, the comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me like a little bit more about the uh, field overrides? Yeah. See, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, when one while sending the data to the uh, third party, means uh, mm -hmm. downstream. Uh, already some fields are selected and that um, with the selected fields only work as given on template okay what if if i want to send the workday account if 
work the one field actually is one field account mm -hmm. okay and uh, uh, worker type sometimes your third party may require or your what is your work account who is sending it and what is the worker type what is worker whether a regular worker or continuous worker is sending the data this details if your mm -hmm. third party require in that case this fields is not will are not available in the regular template delivered in the pick off mm -hmm. but i want but the my third party wants this 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 okay. fields to be sent to the uh, downstream in that case mm -hmm. here it is not possible but in pichi we got the field override service one option is there that means okay. in the custom integration when option custom integration we can select because this this fields already there in the worker in the worker okay. bo this fields already there but that fields are not there in the template that is the question okay. it doesn't mean that this this fields are not these fields are already there in the worker because we know in the worker more than 6000 fields are available but we have selected only 30 fields depending upon the requirement because our requirement is that only we may have many things but i don't want all these things that's why so okay. they have not you know, the delivered template this account this accounts will not be there but work day account or worker type some other fields many are there that i will tell you while comparing but example at this time these two fields are not available in the regular delivered template then we if the your third party wants this in that case i need to go for field over in the custom integration and select in the field override service these two fields once you select and configure and map it then in the downstream these two fields also will be sent along with the regular fields which are already selected will mean that is employees demographic data and compensation data Normally, you may ask actually what what we are sending. We are sending employee in the in the template in the uh, workday pay, third party payroll template. We'll be sending employees demographic data. Demographic data. Data. Application data. data a group a period because you may get some doubt at what data i am sending to the third party means normally yeah. the payroll interface will send the my employees demographic data means is details is uh, uh, what is name, ID, employee ID, gender, hire date that comes under demographic data, location and all, and compensation data. So whether it is compensation, monthly payment, monthly compensation, or yearly compensation, or weekly compensation, that data and pay group, which pay group belongs to, whether manager pay group or um, USA pay group or Canada pay group like that, and pay period, which pay period, monthly, weekly, that pay period. So this data will be sending it. So. What data you are sending in the payments? You are sending this. Sending the employees demographic, demographic data along with the compensation data, pay group, pay period. These details will be sent to the third party for processing the payroll. This is, you may ask what, what pick off will pick off and pitch will do means you can say pick off and pitch will send the employees demographic data, compensation data, pay group data like pay period to the third party for payroll for payroll processing. Yeah. Clear? Yeah, okay.